All right, y'all. So we back with another one. I told y'all I'll be back with Eminem. We back with Bully. I looked through my uh, videos. I made sure I ain't did a um, reaction to this one yet, and I didn't. So we about to get into it because this this is not just him talking about, you know, somebody that's bothering him and trying to, you know, fuck with him. It's uh, this relates to anybody that's getting bullied and again trying to you know make that person look bad this is for anybody like Eminem is like that type of person like when he creates the song just don't talk about him it can relate to anybody you know what I'm saying but with that being said let's get into it In the beginning, he said, yo, was fucked up. I don't see neither one of us budging. So, why would you, why would I even give you that time or anything like that? Why you? Why would you even take the time? Because I don't see neither one of us budging. Like, come on now. Stay facts, though, Eminem. Stay facts. To be the strength of this punk ass little pussy's puny neck. <laughs> oh, shit. That part right there, I done listened to this song a couple times, but every time I listen to this song, that part right there always make me laugh. Like, because Eminem's serious about it, though, for real. Like, facts. Like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to text. I just want to fucking beat the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that text and fuck all that behind the screen shit. Like, I just want to beat the fuck out of you. Period. And this is why I like Eminem, because he tell it, he get right to the point, right to the facts. Like, shit. I don't want to talk, text, email you, nothing like that. I just want to beat the fuck out of you. Oh shit. My right to insist that he acknowledge my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. That's what he says to himself as he uses magazines to trash me as he sits with both his feet up at his desk. Smokes a bag of his weed and starts imagining things that he just can't see that he's manically depressed. Thanks. You just can't see that you manically depressed. You get to imagine and shit like, oh shit. This and this and that. And that you don't realize that you really fucked up in the head. You can't. If you smoking all that weed and all that time you smoking. All that, it's clouding up your brain so you can't realize that you manically depressed. This, this goes out to all the motherfuckers that's hanging on the next motherfucker. And best to believe you got them haters out there. They just can't, they just can't see that they manically depressed. That's why they want you on their level. They want you on the same level as they is because that, that they misery love company. Like I say, simple as that. And in his jealousy and envy, it just whirls him into frenzy as he turns on MTV and sees my face. He don't exist in this world, so he just twists and he twirls, spirals and spins till he hurls himself into rage. And it's destroying him slowly because he does not even know me, even though he sees me everywhere he goes. Facts. And it's destroying him slowly because he don't even know me, even though he see me everywhere he goes. But don't do shit. That's crazy when you see a person everywhere they go, but don't do shit. It's, damn, come on now. It get creepy. Like, what you trying to do? That criminal mind, law and order type shit? 
Eminem, man, you speaking facts for real. So he just tortures himself, he has no fortune and wealth, so he extorts someone else to get his dough. And now he's acting like a bully, so he tries to push and pull me, but he knows that he can't fool me, so he's mad. He has no choice but to scream and raise his voice up at me, cause it annoys him to see that I ain't scared. You ain't no motherfucking... Because he, it, it annoys him because he knows that I ain't scared. Facts. So it, it really bothers them. It irritate them. Make them mad, mad. Big mad. Facts. And see, this is why I want to continue to give y'all music reactions and just stop doing that back and forth with that person. You know what I'm saying? Just focus on the reaction videos. Because that, doing that shit with that person is a waste of time. And I'm not finna do this shit. That is not what my I made my channel for. Is to argue with somebody. Hell no. Nah. That's why I deleted the videos. And I'm I'm doing finishing up my reaction videos. And I'm going to continue to do my reaction videos. If he continue with this shit, he can do it by himself. Because I'm not responding to this shit. I'm, I ain't finna make my channel about this shit, period. I just thought y'all should know about that, because I'm not making my channel about that. I don't care if he put another video out. I'm going to ignore the shit. Simple as that. I'm going to ignore the shit. Because it ain't worth it. He ain't worth it, period. And, I'm, I, and you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to just... You know what? Make my channel about that. My channel is about doing vlogs and reacting to music videos. Not about... It ain't no Jerry Springer shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know it must be fucking with you emotionally. Now I'm not trying to make no more enemies. So more unfortunate. There's so many other motherfuckers that just are. They just keep hounding at me now that I'm down with 50. Suddenly now I got beef with a faggot job. But his ass is such a puppet. <laughs> he said, now that I got beef with this faggot job. Just shove his whole hand up and just make him say what he wants him to say. But Shook has Irv on a string and Irv's so nervous that he says anything to this man to keep him at bay. So now Shot thinks that he's so tough and murder aims the big bad wolf and they go huff and puff and blow our label down. But our building's made out of bricks so you ain't taking out shit and all you just did a song with Bobby Brown. So now you try to pull the race card and it backfires in your face hard cause you know we don't play that black <laughs> Yeah, you just did a song with Bobby Brown. <laughs> But she has her on a string and her so nervous that he says anything to this man to keep him at bay. So now Shot thinks that he's so tough and murder aims the big bad wolf and they go huff and puff and blow our label down. But our building's made out of bricks so you ain't taking out shit and all you just did a song with Bobby Brown. So now you try to pull the race card and it backfires in your face hard cause you know we don't play that black and white shit. Plus the style you fucked when you was ecstasied up with just a man who's dressed up as a white bitch. You ain't no motherfucker. Whoa. Whoa. Spust the style you fuck when you were exercise up and was only. Man. Snappy snap. Puff and blow our label down But our building's made out of bricks So you ain't taking out shit And no, you just did a song with Bobby Brown So now you try to pull the race card Was well, a man dressed up as a white bitch Damn Backfires in your face hard Cause you know we don't play that black and white shit Plus the style you fuck When you was ecstasy up Was just a man who's dressed up as a white bitch You ain't no motherfucking bully I'm a 
They pretty much saying we had all the rappers, the good rappers we lost. And it's like a narrow ending circle to all the rappers just losing their life over nonsense. Facts. Fucking hard. And I'm not excluding myself because I've been stupid as well. I've been known to lose it when someone says something smart. But as we grow as men, we learn to let shit go. But then again, there's only so much bullshit we can really stand. Facts. Facts. You learn to let go, but it's only so much you can take. So you just spare out. But see, as over the years, I learned to control that because they're just the devil that's just trying to work on you. Especially when you're at a good place in your life. The devil's always around the corner waiting. Waiting to see if he can just fuck with you mentally, emotionally physically however he can do it he'll do it you got to just learn how to control that we all got rest to uphold when someone steps on our toes it's no deception it goes for every man but if her really gave a fuck about y'all like he claims he does wake him up and make his boy get off them drugs but he just keeps feeding him pills so if that he doesn't kill him someone from g unit will and i ain't buzzed dog i'm talking to you straight the situation escalates and worse we're gonna lose another soldier to this game and if i get killed for this rap i got a million in cash he said, I will get you back in Haley's name. He said, he got a million put up. Facts. Eminem spoke facts in that. In the song, he spoke facts. Like, then you know that you ain't no bully and he ain't bound down. And see, that's that's why Eminem inspires me. Like, I'm not bound down to you, but I'm not finna scoop to your level either. Because that's mainly what motherfuckers want. They want you to scoop to their level and they want you they want you to respond back they want to know that they got your attention but if you ignore the shit and carry on you you won't have to worry about this and that uh, what they say and this and that if you would just ignore the shit and, and just carry on with life and this is why i like eminem he inspires me because if i didn't have eminem in my life ain't no telling you know but with that being said uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you leave a comment what i should do next and uh i'm gonna catch y'all next video just don't let nobody take your joy take your smile don't let nobody kill your joy you know what i'm saying maintain on life don't let the devil fuck with you because there's a lot of devils out there just being just speaking straight facts for real. On that note, I'm out.